Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Pension funds and other non-bank financial firms have more than $80 trillion of hidden off-balance sheet dollar debt in FX swaps, according to the Bank for International Settlements. The Bank of International Settlements, or BIRS, dubbed the central bank to the world's central banks, also said in its latest quarterly report that 2022's market upheaval had largely been navigated without major issues. Having repeatedly urged central banks to act forcefully to dampen inflation, it struck a more measured tone and picked over crypto market troubles and September's UK bond market turmoil. Its main warning concerned what it described as the FX swap debt blind spot that risked leaving policymakers in a fog. FX swap markets where, for example, a Dutch pension fund or Japanese insurer borrows dollars and lends euro or yen before later repaying them have a history of problems. They saw funding squeezes during both the global financial crisis and again in March 2020 when the COVID-19 pandemic wrought havoc that required central banks such as the US Federal Reserve to intervene with dollar swap lines. According to Beers, the $80 trillion plus dollars of hidden debt estimate exceeds the stocks of dollar treasury bills, repo and commercial paper combined. It has grown from over $55 trillion a decade ago, while the churn of FX swap deals was almost $5 trillion a day in April, two-thirds of daily global FX turnover. For both non-US banks and non-US non-banks such as pension funds, dollar obligations from FX swaps are now double their on-balance sheet dollar debt it estimated. The missing dollar debt from FX swaps, forwards and currency swaps is huge according to the Switzerland-based institution, adding the lack of direct information about the scale and location of the problems was the key issue. The report also assessed broader recent market developments. Biz officials have been loudly calling for forceful interest rate hikes from central banks as inflation has taken hold, but this time it struck a more measured tone. Asked whether the end of the tightening cycle may be looming next year, the head of the Biz Monetary and Economic Department, Claudio Borio, said it would depend on how circumstances evolve, noting also the complexities of high debt levels and uncertainty about how sensitive borrowers now are to rising rates. The crisis that erupted in UK gilt markets in September also underscored that central banks could be forced to step in and intervene. In the UK's case, by buying bonds even at a time when it was raising interest rates to curb inflation. The report also focused on findings from the recent BIS or Biz Global FX Market Survey, which estimated that $2.2 trillion worth of currency trades are at risk of failing to settle on any given day due to issues between counterparties potentially undermining financial stability. The amount at risk represents about one third of total deliverable FX turnover and is up from $1.9 trillion from three years earlier when the last FX survey was carried out. The bank's head of research and economic advisor, Hyun Song Shin, meanwhile described recent crypto market problems, such as the collapse of the FTX exchange and stablecoins TerraUSD and Luna, as having similar characteristics to banking crashes. He described many of the crypto coins sold as Dino, decentralized in name only, and that most of their related activities took place through additional intermediaries. All right, that's all for this video, but let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share the video. For more content, you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. I'm James Preston for Kalkine Media.